Hello, everyone, and welcome to some Mr. FPGA news. In this episode, we will be talking about a whole bunch of new arcade games, updates to the 3DO core, a future Title F2 core, the JT Gaiden core going public, and more. Also, check out my channel sponsor, Mr. Addons, a place where you can get all your Mr. Knees, things like full Mr. Setups, accessories, IO boards, and more. Now let's get to the news. A core for the arcade game Mazinger Z, I hope I pronounced that correctly, has been released by the Coinop Collection team. Mazinger Z is a top-down shooter based on the manga series of the same name. Coinop Collection is rewriting the current cave core and say that all current games still work with improvements. Mazinger Z features encrypted sprites and there is currently no loader support to decrypt the data, so patching the sprite ROMs manually will be required to run the game. The core patch files and instructions on how to patch the ROMs are provided in the public Patreon post. The post also goes into detail on the development journey for this core and how the cave rewrite is going. Taki Uran announced updates for the Superstation 1's Super Dock. The Super Dock now features a 20-pin PCI-style connector with a female connector placed behind a latch on the Superstation 1's bottom. The dock is secured to the system via two long screws that go into threaded inserts on the bottom, like the Game Boy Player. Additionally, Taki gave updates on the custom UI for the Superstation 1, a console mode UI overhaul that has a quality of life update to display box art is being planned. This update aims to incorporate artwork with native language titles. As this UI will be an RBF file, you will be able to use it on any Mr. FPGA setup, not just the Superstation 1. AD Reeve on GitHub created some introductory instructions for the various computers and consoles supported on the Mr. FPGA. I find the computer core instructions to be super useful. You get an image of the computer's keyboard so you can see how it differs from a modern keyboard layout. You also get relevant keyboard mappings. For example, the copy key on an Acor Atom keyboard is mapped to the tab key on the Mr. FPGA keyboard. The Atom keyboard had no dedicated tab key and keyboards today do not have a copy key, so keys specific to a computer need to be mapped to modern keyboard computers in a logical way. To get software up and running, many retro computers will not boot directly to a game or program when a virtual floppy or cartridge is mounted. You instead have to enter commands on the computer to get the software running. This manual gives you the relevant commands and instructions that need to be executed to get software running for different computer cores. The cores based on rising hardware have received substantial updates by the CoinOp Collection team. Here's what's new. Code has been refactored and rewritten, done on a per PCB configuration. The K3 framework was supported to the rising core, including full K3 option support. There's high score saving for each game and revision. Cheats are also available for each game and revision. Per game options with post slash ROM checks are skipped by default. Audio mixing was also updated, so it's compatible with DV1 and 24-bit I.O. boards. And here's what's planned for the future. FPGA implementations for some chips will be rewritten, improved, or changed to a different implementation. SD RAM speed has been increased up to 128 MHz. In-game rank support, modified options, and accessible secrets for Shinobu Yagawa's Bat Trilogy. Some features will also function on real hardware. These updates are available through Update All, so make sure to run that script if you haven't yet done so. The Linux distribution for Mr. has been officially updated, and with that update comes official support for the Retro Shooter light guns. The RS3 Reaper light guns by Retro Shooter also work but I don't own those and have not tested them. I started creating a written guide on how to get the Retro Shooter light guns working on the Mr. FPGA. In the guide, I show you how to set up your Mr. and different cores. As I do more testing, I will add more cores and information. Moving forward, I will no longer create detailed video guides. Instead, I will be doing written guides and do my best to provide short video clips demonstrating portions of the guide. The reason being is that since the Mr. FPGA is an ongoing project, a video guide or portions of it can get out of date quickly, and YouTube does not give you the ability to modify a portion of the video. Modifying a written guide and replacing any relevant clips associated with the guide will be a much easier process. But I will still create a video talking about my general experience with whatever I create a written guide on, so you can see how things actually work. These guides will be posted on the Mr. FPGA forums, GitHub, 
and retro RGB. And I will let you know when they go up here on my news videos or on a dedicated video. The Ypsilon just updated Mr. Distribution and added filter terms that lets you filter games based on screen rotation, screen scan rate, number of buttons, number of players, special controllers, and so on. This update also affects other databases that contain arcade games, such as Hotego's JT Cores database. This update is super useful for people who own arcade cabinets that are in specific configurations. For example, if you have a Mr. Setup on a Neo Geo arcade cabinet, it makes the most sense to install games on that cabinet that only support a maximum of four buttons. This update allows you to do that with the controls underscore four underscore buttons filter. Do you have a cabinet specifically designed for vertical games? Then use one of the vertical screen rotation filters. There are many more filters and the Ypsilon has a public Patreon post going over all the details. Protego released a new arcade core for the arcade game Cycle Shooting. This is a 1986 light gun game released by Taito. There is also a bootleg version of this game called Bronx, so you may know this game from that name instead. Protego's JT Gaiden core is now public. Now all Mr. users are able to play arcade games like Ninja Gaiden, Straddle Fighter, and Techno Knight. Update your Mr. now to start playing them. Zapparoo Core version 2.2.0 has been released. Here's what's new. Adam Gastonal's Game & Watch Core is now automatically detected and supported. Neo Geo CD now works correctly thanks to Mr. Christer. Amiga CD32 is now supported also thanks to Mr. Christer. Support for GroovyMr.gmc files has been added. Thanks to Boss Righteous, there are optional Zapparoo utilities to enable the scanning and launching of some defined PC emulator titles over the network along with the Groovy Mr. Core. CDI Core is now supported, the Jaguar Core is now supported, and the MSX1 Core is now supported. There are also some updates regarding the text-based user interface in Mr. There's also improvements to the Windows ports, more info on Zapparoo Online, and more. Check the post on the Zapparoo website to get all the details. SRG320 updated us on the progress of the in-development 3DO core. Here's what's new. The Regis module was added for drawing of rotated sprites. Mathematical calculations in Madam were added. Madam is a 3DO's graphics accelerator. This means some 3D games are now working. The next step is to add a second drawing module to speed up rendering and correctly display LR sprites. Lots of games and demos were shown off in a video and you can see what's shown on SRG320's YouTube video. This core is still in development with no known release date. Core developer Martin Donlin has been working behind the scenes on a Title F2 arcade core. On Blue Sky Social, he posted a video of Final Blow, which is a boxing game, and it was running on the Mr. FPGA with sound. There still needs more bug fixing to be done, but Martin said the hardest parts are done. Hopefully that means more F2 games can be added without any major setbacks. Other games that run on the F2 hardware include Growl, Liquid Kids, The Ninja Kids, Gun Frontier, Dino Rex, and there are several more games that run on the hardware and you can see a full list on Wikipedia or System16.com. Mr. Organize has another big update. It's a lot to go over in this video so I suggest you take a look at the public Patreon post to see the full details. If you never heard of Mr. Organize, here's what it is. It is a project that will help you keep your games organized for browsing games on your Mr. It contains custom DAT files that will help instruct it on how to organize your games. I suggest you check out the GitHub also to get more information. So that's it for this episode. Please also try to support Sorge, the maintainer of the Mr. Project, and other Mr. developers and contributors on support platforms such as Patreon and Ko-fi. Their hard work allows us to enjoy this amazing project. I also provide a link to all my sources in the description. 
Make sure to also check out RetroRGB.com to see my Mr. News videos in blog form and to get more retro-related content. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a like. And if you want to see more content like this, hit the subscribe button and this bell icon so you can get notified of future videos. Thanks for watching, and I'll speak to you next time.